history book. Martin Luther King was famous by saying, I had a dream. Joseph, the infamous, infamous biblical character, went from the pit to the palace, all because he had a dream. But we're not here to just uh, extrapolate from those lives. We're here to talk about me. <laughs> They showed you this clip of my speech in the Hall of Fame that I, I did not write. But it was something inside of me that I wanted to get out to you because I wanted you to know the man behind the madness that you assumed was this character that I developed and designed in the corridors of Burt Reynolds Hall at Florida State University. <laughs> All because I had a dream. I had a dream. I had a dream. Imagine dreaming right now that you could be that kid, that, that quarterback that leads your team to a Super Bowl. That's what you just saw. You have a dream. Now, naysayers are saying you can't do it because of the team you played for, because of the surroundings, because of what inconsistency in your offense or whatever. But that cannot negate your dream. are made of. Because you've gone beyond belief, beyond knowledge, beyond know-how, and you're still dreaming. Just seeing what you've accomplished, it causes us and provokes us to dream. Brian, 4.3? I don't dream like that, but I do dream. <laughs> but I'm up here before you today because simply, 1625 Henderson, Fort Myers, Florida, when I was seven years old, I was bold enough like Joseph to tell my mama about my dream. I said, Mama, I'm going to make enough money where you would never have to work another day of your life. My mama said, cool. <laughs> but until the end, get that long one going there and cut that grass. <laughs> It was my dream, but when you have these type of dreams, you got to be careful who you articulate these dreams to. You got to know the dream, the dream, the dream, and other factors that can come into your dream to kind of get you off balance. When I was a senior in high school, I was drafted to the Kansas City Royals to play some baseball. Although I had football prowess and my jumper was still wet in basketball, even though I never went for basketball, I had a dream. The city's Royals offered me $75,000 to, to accept it coming from the inner city. That's a whole lot of money. But that didn't coincide with the dream I had for my mom. See, prolific and profound dreams like Martin Luther King and like Joseph, it just does not involve you. It involves others. So your dream has to be bigger than you. Or it's just a desire, or it may be hope. It's not clearly a dream. My dream didn't involve me smoking or, or drinking or using profanity. All the ignorant stuff you've seen me do, I knew what I was doing. <laughs> I've never smoked, I've never drank, I've never been high. I stopped myself, and Coach Andrews, you don't know this, I stopped myself in Alfonso Williams, one of my best friends. We were walking from the bus stop, getting out of the bus from class, walking over to the complex, and we used to use profanity of the nastiest, just cursing each other out back and forth in a rhythmic form, like it was rap. And one day, all of a sudden, I say, this is stupid. This is real dumb. I ain't cussing no more. I'm done. And I stopped with the help of the money, because that was my biggest tool. So I was like what you call a hundred to five dollar cussing. You know, I didn't use bad, bad words, but I used nasty words. So I, I was cussing in five dollar increments, so anytime I used profanity, I would give that person five dollars. And for my affection and my affinity, for my affirmation of money, I stopped cussing pretty <laughs> expeditiously. <laughs> try it, try it, it may work for some of you. I see some $20 customers out there. 